Siblicide is the killing of an infant individual, by its own brothers and sisters. It has been mainly observed in birds. It may occur directly between siblings, or with the participation of the parents. Evolutionary, this can benefit the genetic viability of a population. Sometimes benefits for the predators. Some siblicidal behaviors do not always end up being killed, they are based on environmental conditions. This is might be because, siblicide takes a great amount of energy, and is not always advantageous. Siblicide generally occurs when resources are scarce. Therefore, it is advantageous for the surviving offspring as they have less competition, for the resources such as food and space. Some parents encourage siblicide, while others prevent it. If resources are scarce, the parents may encourage siblicide, by letting the offspring kill each other, as they have to spend less time and energy, to nourish the surviving offspring. Surviving offspring are most likely to have the strongest genes, hence support for the evolutionary process. Then, why are they overproduce eggs? This can be explained by, the insurance egg hypothesis. It was originally proposed by Dorward in 1962. The insurance egg hypothesis states that, the extra eggs produced by the parent serves as an insurance policy, in the case of the failure of the first egg. Either it did not hatch or the chick died soon after hatching. When both eggs hatch successfully, it can increase reproductive and evolutionary success. Asynchronous hatching and androgen loading in the first two eggs of a normal three egg clutch is observed in cattle egrets. There is an increase in aggression among older chicks because of this, as well as a head start in their growth. If food is sparse, the third chick often dies or is killed by the larger siblings, thus parental effort is dispersed among the remaining chicks, who are therefore more likely to survive and reproduce as a result of the parental effort being distributed. In order to take advantage of the likelihood of increased food abundance, the extra excess egg may be deposited. Observations of the common grackle, and the masked booby, support this hypothesis. When a mother carries twins inside her womb, siblicide can occur. Two identical twins may grow up with one of them being a healthy weight and the other being underweight, as a result of one twin consuming a greater amount of nutrients from their mother than the other twin. Spotted hyenas that had siblicide had long-term growth rates similar to those of singletons, increasing their chances of survival dramatically. It was shown that the incidence of siblicide increased when the cohort's average growth rate decreased. There was a substantial difference between siblicidal litters and non-siblicidal litters, when it came to total maternal input when both cubs were alive. After siblicide, the growth rates of siblicide survivors significantly rose, demonstrating that mothers don't limit their maternal input after siblicide has happened.